ow, ow, ow. It's like right in here, <laughs> and then it shoots up into, into the side of my head. And my, my uh, brain freezes uh, the one that goes. Uh, <laughs> Greetings and salutations, and welcome to another episode of Sea Rad. So we're at Disneyland, and we're gonna check out Galaxy's Edge for our very first time. Conrad's a little tired because I had to make him get up early. <laughs> But it's worth it because we're going to try to get Rise of the Resistance boarding passes and hopefully, fingers crossed, that we get them. <laughs> I've got my very own personal chewy. <laughs> Alright, so uh, we're here waiting and uh, it's probably going to be a whole lot of waiting going on today. Waiting in line, waiting for this, waiting for that, waiting for food. And uh, that's all part of it. So what are we doing right now? Right what now, what they call me is the Mandalorian, because I'm bored and I'm boring. This is the child, because she's really into this stuff. We she loves we... Disney. I'm not so crazy about it, but you know, it's not a big deal. But as long as one sport. of us, as long as one of us really likes it, that's all that matters, right? Like, <laughs> and you're a good sport. Good sport. Good sport. I'm a good sport. You're a good sport. <laughs> All right, so um, we're gonna go continue our waiting. Right, so apparently we got really lucky because uh, we got in. Now, what did we win? We got group 35. 35 for Rise of the Resistance. Okay, so apparently this is not easy to do. So uh, getting up <laughs> early was uh, all worth it. We just got into the park. We got our boarding passes for Rise of the Resistance. We're group 35, so just waiting for that to be called. We're gonna go back and check out Galaxy's Edge. Cool! Oh. Where are we at now? We're in Disneyland! The <laughs> happiest place on Earth! <laughs> All right, we're about to head on into Galaxy's Edge for the first time. We're noobs. <laughs> And we're gonna go in and check it out and uh, see what we can see. All right, let's go check it out. So excited. I'm really excited too. I'm gonna cry. Cry, 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 I haven't cry, cry. I haven't cry, seen it yet. Cry, cry. I cry when I see it. All right, we're heading on into a galaxy far, far away. Well, actually not that far away. It's actually kind of close. We're heading off planet. I got goosebumps and my eyes started tearing up and I'm just <laughs> hey, you what? Okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just so excited. Yes. <laughs> okay, all right. We are. Right. <laughs> I'm putting my sunglasses back on, but yeah, look. It's an actual tear. <laughs> Thing. <laughs> on your way. Okay. The 
are very intimidating. Just getting the lay of the land. Good morning. Bright sun. Bright sun. I just got to ride somewhere for this <laughs> All right, we're here getting some uh, blue or green uh, milk. We've got the blue milk and the green milk. We've got one blue, one green. Looks a little yellow, but... It's green. I guess it's all... Oh, okay. the whole. It's not easy being green. All right, let's try some of this crazy milk. We asked them and it turns out that the, uh, the blue and the green, none of these milks, as they call it, actually have any dairy in it. So that's good, because I may or may not be lactose intolerant. So, better safe than sorry. So, uh, what is it made with? Coconut and, coconut and soy? No, coconut milk. Coconut milk, okay. <laughs> Let's taste it. Oh yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm gonna try the green one. Ready? It's good. It's like a slushy. Yeah. And it's got this one has like a fruity taste. I gotta try the blue too. But I taste the milky, the coconut milk too. Mm. That one's very different. I think I like the green better. My uh, nickname in high school actually was Milky Coconut. Nice. <laughs> okay, so I think I changed my mind. I actually think I like the blue one better. The green one's good for a couple of sips, but then it gets kind of funky taste. It's got a funky taste. It's um, like a funky aftertaste. Can't quite place what the taste. Pe are. People have said fruity pebbles, but I'm not getting that. Well, I made the mistake of. Um, Chewing this gum. You've got gum in your mouth too. Yeah, so it's got, it kind of still got a little bit of the mintiness of the gum. But I had gum. I don't know what happened to it. I may have swallowed it. Oops. Well, it? Get a little brain freeze too. Gum. You do if you drink it too fast. No, I definitely like the blue one better. The green one has a funky aftertaste to me. Yeah, you get some mean brain freeze from this stuff right here. You get brain freeze, it hurts like in here, and then it kind of like, just kind of like gets in here, and, it, and it's like a sore spot. It doesn't go away for like 10 seconds or more. This is hard, man. This is hard living. I still can't place the flavor. It's, it's a weird... I, I guess it's, you know, you go to... A, Outer space, and uh, yeah, maybe our... you drink the stuff, and it's different because you've never been there before. You never drank the stuff before, so right. so it's kind of cool. It's unique. Uh -huh. Ow! 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 It's like right in here, <laughs> and then it shoots up into in the side of my head. And my, my brain freezes. Uh, the one that goes. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Our boarding group got called, so this is interesting. So now, this is the stuff that I haven't seen on any of the other videos. So they call your boarding group and then you get in a line. You don't just walk right on. Well, that's not cool. <laughs> Which is cool. I understand having to wait in a line because we still, we're getting on. But if you look over here, look, there's all this. Sea of Humanity? Yes. <laughs> My favorite. So you just need to know that when they call your boarding group, you're not walking right onto the right. Oh, cool. Then we get to wait in another line. Yes. Oh, good. That's pretty much why I come here. I know, you love lines. I don't really like the rides or any of this <laughs> stuff yes. to look at. I really just like lines. <laughs> Thank you for joining.
the cause. A covert resistance team led by my friend Finn has infiltrated a First Order Star Destroyer that is now headed to this system. Your outpost on Batu is no longer safe. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pakara. I'll regroup with you there. The Resistance desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. Remember, it is vital that you keep the location of the Pakara base secret. Lieutenant Beck, one of our top commanders, will lead you. Affirmative. Transport is ready. Nine Nom and I shall personally see them delivered. Thank you, Lieutenant. Welcome to the cause. May the Force be with us. Commander Paul Dameron and a squadron of X-Wings shall escort us to the rendezvous point on Bakara. Roger, this is Black Leader. I hear you're a fine-looking group of recruits. Well, no time to waste. Let's get you on your way to the General. Thank <laughs> you. 
They have neither the resources nor the courage to engage us. You want us to meet their conviction? Raise the shields! Shields? I see no evidence. Now! Found the alarm! All types announced at their stations! The prisoners have escaped! How brave! But ultimately hopeless. There's nowhere to run! I can't help you from here! You need to fix it yourselves! Okay, so this is what it looks like in here with all the lights turned on. So that's not something that uh, you'll see every day. Yeah. Smile. Unfortunately, there's no estimate at this time. We apologize for the inconvenience. You are welcome to continue waiting. However, if you would like to exit, please see the nearest resistance or first order personnel for a 